All right, jumping straight into it today, guys, we're going to bring our IOTA over into the rebase network using our 24 word recovery phrase. In previous walkthroughs, I've emphasized the importance of writing this down on a piece of paper or something else and keeping it offline. And if you haven't done that, there are still ways of recovering it using the Firefly or Bloom wallets. But today's episode isn't about how to recover your 24 word phrase. It's simply how to bring your IOTA onto the rebase network using your 24 word phrase. We're also not gonna cover how to do things with a ledger. And the reason I've got my X opened up is because my boy Sigur, Sigur Matoy, down here, he has created a walkthrough on how to do all this stuff, including the ledger. So he's made some videos and whatnot. Okay, enough about that, let's get started. Okay, now there's a step-by-step -step guide from the IOTA Foundation on how to get started with the new IOTA wallet. It is a browser-based wallet, it does not have a desktop version. And clicking here, redirects us to the web store. And this browser-based wallet is only available on Chromium-based browsers. So if you've got Google Chrome, Edge, or for me in this example, Brave, you will be able to access and use the new IOTA web wallet. So clicking this link here, redirects us to the Chrome web store for the IOTA wallet. Coming up to the top, I'm just gonna add it to Brave. Yes, I'm gonna add the extension. As we can see, the IOTA wallet is now added to Brave. So I'm just gonna create a profile now. Clicking on add profile. Multiple options, as we mentioned before, you can use your ledger, you can use your seed and private key, and you can also use your mnemonic. And what I'm gonna do in this situation is use my mnemonic. Clicking on mnemonic, I'm now gonna enter my 24 words. As you can see here, there are 24 boxes. Okay, now we're gonna add the profile. And here's where you create a secure password. Up to you if you wanna auto lock it. I don't really care right now. And yeah, you know guys, we always read the terms of surface. No, we don't. Okay, now it's gonna find our balance and all we gotta do is click start. And wonderful, it's found my IOTA and my address. So I'm just gonna click finish here to get it all set up. And how easy was that? Okay, and straight from the get-go, we can start staking. So if you click start staking, we can earn those juicy rewards. And what I would say is get familiar with the validators that you want to engage with in terms of your delegation. So in a sense, you're trusting these validators to hold your IOTA and give you some rewards in return. So I'm just gonna scroll down. These are the 13 Genesis validators. And because DLT Green has supported our community for a long time, I'm gonna select them as a validator. Now click next. Okay, now when you choose a validator to delegate your tokens to, or in other words, stake your tokens with, you wanna be across their status. You wanna know what's going on in terms of what the potential APY is that you'll receive, how much commission they're taking, etc etc so let's look at each one of these and just give a brief overview of what they each mean and for us the most important thing to know is the staking apy which is an estimate of the amount that we might earn per year by staking with this validator and it's based on how they have performed before so this number will fluctuate and that's why it's important to keep a track of what the validators are offering and what they're doing and how they're performing Second, we have the commission, and this is how much the validator charges for their service. So let's keep it nice and simple. Let's say the APY is 10%. You stake 1000 tokens and the reward is 100 tokens. The validator's commission is 10%, which means they take 10 of those tokens, leaving you with 90 tokens. Now to the stake share. And this is pretty impressive, 4.3% already for DLT Green. And this shows the percentage of staked tokens that are delegated to this validator. So this percentage is of the staked tokens, not of the total amount of IOTA tokens in circulation because they're not all staked. So it's important because the more tokens that are delegated to a validator means they get more voting power 
and a better chance to be selected as the block producer. So the more activity they perform, the more rewards they get essentially. And as we can see here, the next one down is total staked IOTA, which means how many IOTAs have already been staked to the validator. And then finally, how many IOTA I have staked. It's at zero. So let's go ahead and stake some IOTA. Okay, I've got 1000 IOTA. And because I want to play around a little bit, look, I'm just going to stake 100 IOTA right now. Scrolling down a little bit further, we can see that staking rewards begin in three hours and we'll be able to redeem our first set of rewards after 27 hours, which means there's no minimum time limit to stake or delegate, I guess, your IOTAs because the rewards are paid out after every 24 hours. So let's go ahead and stake. Okay, and it works as a transaction. And as we can see, guys, <laughs> IOTA is now a fee-based network. So that cost me a little bit of gas, tiny minuscule amount, Actually, let's figure out how much that is in actual dollar cost. So I'm just going to copy that. We can see one iota is 20 cents. Let's paste in. <laughs> I could have used the calculator. So what? Okay, so the gas fee is, okay, so we're at one cent here. So it's, oh my goodness, it's, it's just so incredibly minuscule. But there we go. And back to our iota wallet, I'm just going to close this transaction cool and we can see here that our interface shows that we are currently staking 100 iota and we have 968 available oh man i just realized i didn't pay attention to how long a transaction takes all right guys so i will make sure you've got access to the link that gets you started with the iota wallet check down in the description or in the comments follow that guide um, and it walks you through to however you've got your IOTA stored, either through Ledger, Firefly, doesn't have something for Bloom, but it tells you how to get access to your seed. You should already have access to your 24 word phrase. And if you don't, then you've been a naughty boy, but all is not lost because you can still access your IOTA. So don't worry too much. And if you need further support, go into the discord, ask around and you'll get some help. Be careful. Don't accept random DMs from strangers. I've known three people who have got hacked in the IOTA Discord because of that. So guys, you should be seasoned by now. Don't accept random DMs. Always DM first and make sure you're actually DMing somebody who is a trusted, reputable person within the community. And guys, if you find me, I'm not support. So I'm sorry, but I'm not paid by the foundation to do that. And... I will leave a link to my boy Sigma Toys uh, thread here, which is pretty detailed. He's done a really good job here for a first timer, um, especially in terms of the video that he put together. He used a bit of AI voice, but that's because he's a German boy and he speak with a German accent, but um, his, uh, his content here is quite good. So I do recommend you guys check that out, especially if you've got a ledger. Okay, so the new era of IOTA is upon us and ah, it just doesn't feel real, huh? Like the coordinator or coordinators are completely gone now and it's a completely new model and maybe not as we expected, you know, over the years. And I think it's really important to understand that IOTA is a long-term play. Short pumps might happen, they might not, you know, it's just so difficult to try and Imagine what's going to happen in the future to try to predict it and then act on those ideas. But what is good is that we have incredible technology right now. There's a great narrative with RWA tokenization and it looks like the strategy is also to become a settlement layer for stable coins as well. So if that starts to play out, then IOTA really could be a phoenix in the crypto space. But I just really need to emphasize, guys, nothing is guaranteed. So if you're in the position to take some profits, you know, it's never a bad thing to do that. I've been saying have a strategy and execute to it, you know. So God willing, the bull market is still on and there's still a potential for a run. And I implore you, try not to get greedy, you know. Really, you've got to look out for yourself, guys. It is a ridiculous arena to be playing in cryptocurrency is. And if you're in it, you know, it's so important to be optimistic, but also to be realistic. 
and look at things at face value. And the the $4 EOI meme came from the very first episode and we were at 60 cents in the first episode uh, when I made Spec Weekly. So please don't take it literal when I say $4 EOY. <laughs> well, I've been saying it for three years, um, but it's more like a, a positive mindset, you know. Hope for the best, but at the same time, be pragmatic. Understand what you're invested in, reevaluate your positions, and if it's for you, then stick around with me in this journey. And hopefully, we do end up seeing $4 EOY. See you next time.